Two families reeling from tragedy after a deadly crash claims the life of a civilian and a Memphis police officer. That officer was killed in the line of duty. We're continuing to learn more about him first on the News at 5. Thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. And I'm Stephanie Skurlock. We share the latest on the investigation at 4 o'clock. WRG's Bria Jones joins us live now after speaking with the officer's mother. What did she have to say, Bria? Well, Stephanie, Sharon Jones says she's cried all the tears she can, but wanted to speak with us to let the world know her son was a light taken away too soon. He said, yeah, I'm finna go save some lives. I was like, all right, baby, be safe, be careful. Recalling the last word she heard from her only child. Sharon Jones says this morning she got a knock at the door that left her numb. My heart hurts so bad. I don't know how to react. I don't know what to feel. Her niece asking her to come over, where she says, surrounded by law enforcement, she was told her son, 32-year-old Coriel C.J. Jones, was killed in a crash. I couldn't believe it. It's like, no, no. I know he's a good driver. According to police, Jones, who joined the department in 2020, was heading to a call when he was involved in a three car crash near the intersection of Shelby Drive and Pleasant Hill around 3 a.m. Investigators say the driver that hit Jones also died. We finally saw the crash and it was horrible. It was a horrible crash and I don't want to see it again. But the intersection is a really bad intersection. Everybody is feeding in and letting you know that, hey, somebody's going to get hurt here. Jones's aunt, who worked for the Shelby County Sheriff's Office, introduced him to law enforcement. She says before coming an officer, he served with the Memphis Fire Department. He was a very good officer, fair, understanding, you know, and, you know, pretty much just all around good guy. His mother says he loved church and basketball, but more than anything, he loved his two daughters, ages one and eight. He loved kids. Yeah, so kids. his daughter, oh, they are his world. Now without her only child, she says she's leaning on family to carry on. It hurts. It hurts so bad. And all I know is it hurts. Jones shared with me that since this morning, MPD has been by her side. The police association has started a fundraiser for the family. For now, reporting live in downtown Memphis, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. All right, our thoughts are with that family tonight. Thank you, Bria.